Welcome to the video tutorial for hauliers. You will learn how to use the ECMT digital system. From January 1, 2026, the ECMT digital system will substitute the current system of paper ECMT licenses and logbooks. To test the system, you need to connect to eddy-test.itf-oecd.org. To be sure that you are using the correct version, the banner should be red. The national authority responsible for issuing the ECMT licenses should open an account for you. You will receive an email with your username and password. At the first login, you will receive a PIN code and you will then change the password. If you don't have this email, please contact your national authority. When you log in, you will find the main menu on your left. Click on Workplace section to manage your licenses, trucks, trailers, and team accounts. Click on the Reports section to consult your license usage and trips. Click on the Incidents section to contact the service provider. Click on My Profile section to manage your personal account. Additionally, you will find manuals and video tutorials in the Help section. To manage your account, go to the section My Profile. You can change your password if needed. As Haulier Manager, you can create new accounts for other managers in your company and for drivers. Go to the section Workplace in the main menu and then Users. Click on New User. In the field Email, you should enter an existing email address to which the person has access. An email address can be used for one account only. In the field password, you should enter a temporary password. In the field role, you should choose between driver and manager. If you choose driver, you need to decide whether the driver can only view the logbook or can complete the logbook. Once you created the user, you can click on membership info to see that user's details. From there, you can disable the user in case the person is no longer employed by your company. If you disable a user, you can enable it again in the future. It is not possible to delete an account from the system. If you disable a user, it will be deleted automatically after a period of 12 months. The account will also be deleted if a user does not connect for 12 months. If you need to reset the password for a user, Click on More Actions and then Reset Password. A user can be blocked if it fails to log in too many times. You can unblock it by clicking on More Actions and then Unlock User. To see the licenses assigned to your company, go to the section Workplace in the main menu and click on Licenses. Available means that the license can be used for a new trip. In use means that the license is currently used for a trip. Cancelled means that the license assigned to your company has been cancelled by the national authority. These licenses cannot be used for new trips. Expired means that the validity period has expired. These licenses cannot be used for new trips. Replaced means that the license comes from the reserve list, starting with one for annual licenses and with three for short-term licenses. To visualize a specific annual license, click on Annual. You can filter by number, vehicle category, and status. Otherwise, just click on Search to see the full list. Double-click on a license to visualize it. From the tab Info, you can download the PDF of the license by clicking on View License. This is the document that the driver should show at the inspection. The PDF can be printed on a white paper or be uploaded on a mobile device. You can also download the logbook document by clicking on View Last Logbook Printed Document. This is the document that the driver should show at the inspection. The PDF can be printed on a white paper or be uploaded on a mobile device. The same can be done for short-term licenses. The trucks need to be registered in the system before the start of a trip. There are two ways to upload the information, either manually or via Excel. 
Go the section Workplace in the main menu, then click on Trucks. Click on New Truck. Complete the form with the necessary information, plate number, VIN code, ownership type, hiring contract, leasing contract or owner, vehicle category, Euro 5 or Euro 6, and country of registration. The default will be your country. Once you have inserted all the information, click on Upload Documents. The roadworthiness test and the certificate of compliance should be uploaded here. The truck cannot be used for a trip without these documents. Once a truck is registered, click on it if you need to enter any modifications. Click on Edit to modify any information. Click on Upload Documents to add or modify the required information if missing. If a truck is not anymore in your possession, click on Truck Inactivation to disable it. Consequently, the truck will not appear anymore in the list of available trucks for any given trip. You also have the option to upload the information via Excel. To do this, click on Import and download the template. Fill in the VIN code, the plate number, ownership type, Euro category and country of registration, then upload the file. Once the trucks are entered into the system, you will have to upload the related documents. Inactive trucks are listed in the inactive section. Click on it and then on truck activation to activate it. Trailers must be registered in the system before starting a trip. There are two ways to upload the information, either manually or via Excel. Go the section Workplace in the main menu and click on Trailers. Click on Add Trailer. Complete the form with the necessary information, plate number, VIN code, ownership type, hiring contract, leasing contract, owner or user, and country of registration. The default is your country. The upload of the trailer's documents is not mandatory. If you want to upload the documents, click on Upload Documents. Upload the roadworthiness test and the safety certificate here. Once a trailer is registered, click on it if you need to enter any modifications. Click on Edit to modify any information. Click on Upload Documents to add or modify the required information if missing. If a trailer is not anymore in your possession, click on Trailer Inactivation to disable it. Consequently, the trailer will not appear anymore in the list of available trailer for any given trip. You also have the option to upload the information via Excel. To do this, click on Import and download the template. Fill in the VIN code, the plate number, ownership type, and country of registration, then upload the file. Once the trailers are entered into the system, you will have to upload the related documents. Inactive trailers appear in the inactive list. To activate a trailer, first click on it, and then on Trailer Activation. To start a new trip, go to the section Workplace in the main menu and click on Annual. Select an available license. Double-click on it and go to the tab Logbook. Click on New Trip. You can assign this license to a driver, but this is not compulsory. If a license is assigned to a driver, he will be able to see it in his account. You need to insert the following information. Departure date. Place of loading. Country of loading. Gross weight, 
please write it in tons with only one decimal. Number of kilometers at departure as in the odometer. Truck registration number to be selected from the list. Trailer registration number if it is used. Place of unloading. Country of unloading. The arrival date and the number of kilometers on arrival can be inserted later. Click on next and then confirm. After the creation of the trip, a new logbook print document is created and visible under info. The driver should have this document on board. The trip can be updated before the end. Go back to logbook. Click on transit to add a transit point. Select the data and add the place and the country. This information will be visible by control authorities. Click on Special Remark to add any notes to the logbook. The text can be in your national language. Click on Add Steps to add an intermediate unloading point. If the vehicle breaks down or there is an accident, click on Change Vehicle. You can change the truck, the trailer, or both. To change the vehicle, upload a statement of honor with proof of what happened. Before ending the trip, you can click on Change to amend the information concerning the arrival, such as the date, the place and country of unloading, and the number of kilometers. When you finish the trip and before starting a new one, click on Finish the Trip. You will need to confirm all the information on arrival. Arrival date. Place of unloading. Country of unloading. Number of kilometers at arrival as in the odometer. A trip can be cancelled after its creation by clicking on the VIN icon. Please note that the information entered will be still visible in the electronic logbook for control authority. If the trip requires loading in multiple locations, at the creation of a new trip you select, Assembled Goods Yes. It is not possible to add this option after the trip is started. Click on Add Step to add a load. Statistical reports on the usage of the licenses are available. Go to the section Reports in the main menu. In License Usage, you can see all the trips done with each license. Select the period for which you want to see the data. You can also filter with different attributes. Click on View Report to visualize the data. In License Status, you can see the distribution of assigned licenses according to their status, available, in use, etc. 
In License and Trips, you can see a quick overview of the use of licenses. Each report can be downloaded in different formats by clicking on the Save button. If you have any questions or if you encounter a bug, go to the section Incident in the main menu. To open an incident, click on Post an Incident. In the field Incident Type, specify the nature of your request. The ITF will receive a notification and will react to your request. Go to the section Help in the main menu to access the Help Manuals. In this section, short videos are available for each task that can be performed in the system.